G'day, I'm Ray Tone from New Zealand. Well, part three of how to make a universe turned out to be a bit longer uh, than, than anticipated. So this is part 3B. Over the years, as computers have got faster and faster, I've gradually calculated the harmonics to higher and higher numbers. The last time I did it, I calculated up to 10 to the power of 53 harmonic. This is shown in three sections here. And we can see that there's a contour to the top of the curve. There's it waves up and down over long scale, long distance scales. This is a log scale going from 1 to 10 to the power of 53. So it represents structures over enormous scales in the universe that the harmonics theory is predicting there will be certain places where there are strong structures at certain scales and others where there will be weaker ones. Taking that contour representing the very strongest harmonics and plotting it on this graph I've shown over a ratio from the first harmonic through to the 10 to the power of 40th harmonic how strong, relatively strong the harmonics are. We see in a series of peaks at more or less equal ratios numbered from 1 to 8. Then there's some variation in the ratios and there's some variation in the height of the peaks. But these, the ratio between these successive peaks is very similar to the ratio between the observed scales in the universe of the Hubble scale, the galactic scale, the stellar scale, the planetary scale, the scale of moons, and further on down to the scale of atoms and nucleons. This diagram represents the scales that are really found in the universe, showing the Hubble scale on the left through galaxies, showing galactic clusters, and showing that galaxies come in different sizes, and so do stars in different spacings. And the planets come in different spacings also, the large giant planets and the smaller planets and moons. And that there are two missing scales, X and Y. Uh, then we get carry on um, through cells to atoms and nucleons. I got into developing the harmonic theory because of discoveries that I had made in cycles and that I later found that other people had made very similar discoveries. This is a table of the length and years of observed cycles and everything from long geological cycles through mass extinction cycles through cycles in the solar system and cycles on Earth found in everything, war, economics, animal populations, climate, you name it, there are cycles in it, the stock market and commodity prices. All of these things and as well as observing them in the sun and many of the cycles are found in multiple different things. There is an all-pervading set of cycles running through everything. There are other videos on my site that deal with this in more detail. Taking those cycles that had been observed by many different people in many different fields of scientific study, I compared them to the pattern predicted by the harmonics theory. On the right hand side I started at 10 billion years, a little less than the time that's supposed to exist since the Big Bang, and I calculated how well it fitted as I changed the period of the number one cycle that the universe might oscillate in. When I got to 1.482 times 10 to the 23 years, there was a huge spike showing that this is the very likely the longest cycle in the universe. It is about 10 million million times longer for one cycle than the age of the universe, according to those that believe in the Big Bang. And yet, there must have been many cycles of the universe. Here is an example of just one cycle shown in spatial dimensions, which is the spacing of galactic clusters called megawalls. This is from a peer-reviewed journal and shows the regular cycles of galaxies. The spacing of these cycles works out on the latest Hubble constant to about 586 million years, million light years, I'm sorry. And that corresponds to a 586 million year period found in geological cycles. I maintain that these are due to this very large wave with huge energy oscillating in the universe. The pattern of waves is not perfectly regular. If we add up all the different cycles predicted by the harmonics theory, we don't get something that looks like a wave. We get this thing which I've shown in 12 sections here, and it has a huge spiky 
thing sticking up every so often. You'll see one in the middle of each line and at the end of each line, which is every 12th or 24th of the universe, and you'll see other ones in between. And you'll see some patterns there. They are rhythms. They represent rhythms in time and rhythms in space. They're not just but they got And every so often something different happens. And that's the pattern of the universe. This is the pattern that the harmonic theory predicts exists in the structure of things happening in time. Sometimes a lot happens at once. In space, sometimes a lot happens at once. This has been a very fast overview of the harmonic theory. It represents about 15 years full-time study on my part of cycles. I retired at the age of 42 to look into this because I'd already been working on it for some time but to study this full-time because it was such an interesting question. I've looked at cycles in every different field of study. Astronomy, biology, climate, economics, all sorts of different things. The cycles are there and the pattern is there that were found by Edward Dewey and others before me. However, they not, had not managed to find the reason for it. I believe I have found the reason for it, and in doing that, it predicts the whole structure of the universe. This is something that physicists are looking for. Uh, they look for it with things like string theory, which has yielded absolutely nothing. The Big Bang constantly makes wrong predictions about the structure at large scales in the universe. More, more than 15 years ago, I began predicting these things and my predictions have been correct. I have more than a dozen successful predictions ranging from such things as a new atomic particle subsequently discovered that was not predicted by any existing theory. I've explained the long geological cycles. I've explained the economic and other cycles observed in human time spans. I've shown that there are connections between the oscillations of the sun and the spacing of the planets and other oscillations that pervade the universe, including in galactic cores. Everywhere that I've looked, I've found that this pattern exists. Many proportions of cycles related by proportions of 2 and 3, and the occasional 5 and 7 and other prime number. It is these patterns of prime numbers that allow that large-scale structure of the universe to be worked out and to show what the real size of the universe is. The, vast, the universe is vastly more ancient than the Big Bang says. The existing physics and the existing cosmology have gone to dead ends. They've made mistakes, they've made wrong turns, and they cannot progress. No other theory explains the structure of the universe from such a simple principle. It only uses one principle, and it explains why galaxies form at the scale they do, why stars form at the scale they do, why planets form, why moons, why cells, why atoms, by subatomic particles, and it predicts the scale at which smaller things will form as well, quarks, and if there are smaller things than that, in more energetic parts of the universe there will be things such as quarks that are loose, and there will be even smaller scales. At places like galactic cores these things will exist. The harmonics theory predicts the scales at which these things will happen. We don't need big accelerators to do that. When I tell this to physicists, cosmologists and astronomers, they generally um, don't take an enormous amount of interest. They're very set in their ways. It needs younger people to look at it. In other fields, I found a different response. Even before I put information about biological cycles, I had people in the health field coming to me and saying they really liked my site and I couldn't work out why until I looked at the, how this predicted various energetic structures within the human body. It has applications in every field. The interconnectedness of the universe is something that the harmonics theory makes very clear. It's something that's the mark of our age that people are looking for this. When we understand the wave structure of matter also, we can see that everything is totally connected to everything else. This is physics. It's not some sort of new age idea. It all follows from very simple mathematical and physical principles. There's a lot I've presented here. And I'm very happy to answer questions by anybody about these other fields and about what it means and to explain it in more detail should you wish.